Hi everybody, in this video we are going to add a shoot button to our game. And when we click on the button, the robot is going to shoot the ball. So let's get started, shall we? Let's add a button. We're going to add a standard themed button. And let's rename the button to button shoot. Let's move the button over here. Let's change the text to the button. Here one of the properties is text, so let's just type here shoot. And there we go. That's a very simple way to add a button. Let's test it. Here we have the button, we can click on it, but it doesn't do anything yet. So the first thing we have to do now is to set the velocity of the ball to zero, zero. Okay, <clears throat> next we want to link it to some code. For that we select the button, click on node, and under signals we have pressed. We click on connect. Here uh, we can pick where we want to put the code. I'm just going to put it in root. That's where we have our other scripts already. We can't put it in button shoot because that's the button itself. This is the name of the method and since we have make function switched on it's going to make the function the method itself. Let's test it. First we want to just write print button. Uh, we want to print the text button pressed. So what should happen is that when I press the button it's going to write the following text to the output. Let's see if it works. It's a bit hard to test with all this other stuff being output as well, so let's delete this first. And now let's test it. Yeah, it works. As we press the button, uh, we output the text, button pressed, every time we press the button. Okay, finally we want the ball to start flying when we click on the button. We don't just want some text output to the debugger. So we are going to push the ball. Let's Google. I'm going to go to Godot Rigid Body 2D. Because our ball is a 2D rigid body, we're going to push it. Here we have some form, but we also have the Godot Docs. There's the Godot API, which I was talking about before. This API shows a list of all possible functions for all possible Godot objects. This is talking about the rigid body 2D. Here we have a list of all possible objects and nodes which we can have. And scrolling down, we see that we also have rigid body 2D. Some member functions are integrate forces, add force, apply impulse. So let's see, add force, adds a position force to the body. Both the force and the offset from the body origin are in global coordinates. So what this does is actually it adds a constant force, for example, like a force of gravity. This is not what we really want. What we actually want is an impulse. This applies a positioned impulse to the body. An impulse is a short, brief, hard force applied to the body. For example, similar to a billiard ball and hitting a billiard ball with a cue. So the offset shows whether I'm hitting the ball on the center or on the side, giving it spin. And the impulse will show the direction and the size of the instantaneous force with which I hit it. So let's see if we can apply this. We need two vectors. 
offset and impulse. So offset is a vector 2 and I'm going to say it's 0, 0. The impulse will hit the ball at the center. Then we have impulse. Impulse is also a two-dimensional vector and I'm going to say that it has the x component of 100 and the y component of negative 100. If you want to learn more about vectors, then why not have a look at the uh, appendix about vectors. Next, let's apply the impulse. I'm going to call dollar sign body ball to refer to the object. Dot. Remember, this is one of the uh, functions which we looked up. Apply impulse with the offset which is stored in the variable offset and with the impulse which is stored in the variable impulse. So let's test it. The ball is resting quietly. I'm going to click on shoot and yes, it flies off. Interestingly enough, we can continue applying the impulse over and over again, even after the ball has left the hand of the robot. But we're going to leave it like this for now. Now it's time for an exercise to get some hands-on experience. In this video, we have learned to create a button and link a script to it. So in the next video, we want to create a second button called the quit button. I want you to link a script to it too. When you push the button, the game should quit. So I'm going to see you in the next video when we would be talking about the solution to this exercise. See you soon. Bye bye.